Hi, this is a reading for you. It is not attached to a zodiac sign nor a timeline. The intention is, if you come across this reading, it should benefit you in some way. That being said, let's get started. This is funny. Um, this almost says that you have a tendency to over investigate whether there will be justice or injustice, whether things will go right or wrong, up or down. There's a level of trying to control things, but really this sort of just brings you further into a state of confusion. Though there is happiness, things are going well and probably exceptionally, exceptionally well, but there's a level of disconnect from that or an inability to see that. So I, I feel like you're sort of trying to step out of this place of pessimism or of confusion because I think you've become aware of it and seek clarity, seek humility seek openness you you want to receive a deeper understanding of who you are and your calling or or what life is or you know anything in that realm you're all over it that and if you're unstable it's because of your lack of discipline um, that's more so financially speaking sort of a side note in that last spread. You know, your optimism is good, but don't let it blind you either because it's almost like you have a perfect level of clarity, okay? And there's this, ah, oh, feeling new beginning, it's all starting. And then it's like you sort of fall into this pause where you procrastinate. You're in full awareness of um, what is happening in some way. And it's sort of saying, don't squander your time. Um, you know, it's sort of suggesting that you know, maybe there's an outside influence or a habit or anything like that. You, you tend to, it's sort of suggesting that rest is the devil right now. You know, you rest in vice or in comfort, even if that's through maybe um, even just like pondering things or daydreaming. But somehow, you know, rest or disconnecting, contemplating, that is your enemy right now. Or you know, just like sort of putting off responsibilities because you would rather go do this. We'll do the responsibilities first. Because the outcome of this is that you're fully capable of creating what you dream of. But you don't take the leap or make the proper level of effort or something like that. Let's move into advice. You know, a lot of it is about consistency. And your advice is to not become discouraged or anything like that. Remain open. Um, and sort of, yeah, you might be looking at some kind of ending here. Um, I don't know if there's, if there's something you need to cut away from or, or someone you need to cut away from or, um, something you need less involvement with because it's almost sort of dragging you down. Um, and that could come through in many ways, but it's interesting to me that in your advice, it's sort of suggesting a sudden halt or an ending of 
either a, a somewhat of a tradition or a commitment or, you know, um, I suppose it could represent um, a job or an institution that you're involved with, if that, if that fits. Um, but you're not being wise in some way. You're not observing something that maybe puts you at a disadvantage. It comes from sort of young-mindedness is what it's suggesting. Mm. And, you know, maybe there's a need to sort of preserve your resources just for you right now. Or you, or you give energy where you shouldn't or you say things or that you shouldn't really, you know? Um, they're sort of also leaning into the acceptance that, not really the acceptance, but the embracing of the idea of sort of learning or becoming a student in some way maybe, or, um, Again, th this is very much about stepping away from like long-term tradition or commitment though in some, some way. So this would be like a whole new sort of experience for you or a whole new endeavor of, of some kind. It's probably life-changing. And the things I've seen, I can't help but notice we have um, the Nine of Swords in reverse. To me, this is sort of suggesting there's, it, it's gonna become revealed that there's no reason to be afraid or it's sort of suggesting to drop any anxiety or the chapter ahead, um, you know, perhaps you were really anxious before or in a very sort of pensive state, right? Or, um, you know, anything like that. It's, it, you're, you're, you're becoming free from that. You're becoming um, sovereign in a new way. Um, in the sense of moving with the grace that comes with a certain level of understanding of oneself. You don't need others to do what you want to do. Somehow, it, it almost um, would suggest that there are people that sort of weigh you down, um, or a specific person maybe even, but, you know, or, or just thinking that you need to be involved with someone to be something, or um, to, to do something, like, you know, it's sort of it's saying to you know stand in the strength of yourself, um, and and again I think that that's what you're aiming to do, but it's sort of just saying like you know you don't you don't need that leg up you know what I'm saying you don't need that like secret code or whatever it's suggesting that it's all there within you. I'm going to take this reading a bit further on my Patreon. So if you want to support me as a creator, uh, as an artist, as a tarot reader, as a channel, that is definitely one of the best ways. Um, it's a subscription service um, for monthly access to all of my extended readings, exclusive content, and so on. Um, that being said, also like, subscribe, comment, share, all that stuff I greatly appreciate. Um, so thank you again so much for joining me. I hope to see you over on the Patreon. Um, if not, have a great night.